What's going on, everybody? It's Brandon with the Aren't You Glad I Said It podcast back with another video. Look, I told you I was going to be more consistent. And the thing is, it's not crazy to be more consistent in terms of difficulty. But, but I really want to get some footage with the drone again. And my thinking is I have footage already from different things in different places that I just haven't shared or uploaded because I just like getting footage of my life. And I decided I was going to do this. This was like two years ago. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to take my pictures, my go places, when I do things, I'm going to do video, I'm going to document stuff so that I have videos and home videos that I can show my kids and my family when we get older, right? And say like, yo, remember we did this? Oh, I edited it into a movie so we could just watch our lives play out on the screen. <laughs> so I was like, yo, let me start recording. So that was the reason behind me getting a DJI Mini Pro 3, Mini 3 Pro. My bad. I keep saying that wrong. DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'm a memorizer. I decided, what is a good idea? Well, what if I just go around and get winter footage of all the parks in the area? I think it'd be dope. One thing I always tell people, and this is back when I did Uber and uh, Lyft, people used to get in and they'd be like, hey, you know, what is there to see in, uh, in Niagara Falls and Buffalo in the wintertime? And I'm like, well, the number one thing I'll suggest is the falls themselves right seeing it in the winter time is different if you've already seen it in the summertime it's like it puts a different dressing on the season and i freaking love that concept and so i want to bring that to you guys i want to do a series on winter parks in my area guys if the drone can fly in these parks as i said in my last video there are restrictions that come with flying drones with these restrictions i need to be careful because when you get to these areas you might get like a red map thingy and uh it might tell you you can't fly the drone in this area and that's cool for whatever reasons they have they have them and get it but i'm gonna go see and maybe we can get some good footage today man and if not i'll find a different area and i'll tell you guys that area when i get there because we have a number of parks i can't imagine they're all restricted so let me get dressed let me hop in a vehicle vehicular the car the car is what i'm gonna hop in <laughs> and i'm gonna drive to the parks and let's see what's going on all right stay tuned Okay, so I'm back at the house, man, out of the cold, and I'm actually getting ready to make some tea because it was freezing outside. Like, I was out there for like a good, like 30, 40 minutes, it felt like, but maybe it was more like 20. Um, <laughs> but I feel like I got some good enough shots to show you guys and share with you guys, so I'm gonna get into that now. But um, one thing I noticed when I got there, it was a lot of construction going on. And with the construction going on, um, at first I thought I wasn't actually gonna even be able to get into the park. But once I actually, you know, parked the car and got my gear and got out the car, I realized that you actually could. It was like a, a pathway onto it. And so I guess just that area ended up being closed off. But, you know, from there, I tried to find like some good paths and things like that to actually get through to be able to get the shots that I wanted to get for you guys. And, um, and I got a, some great, great, great aerial shots. Even in some of these sections here that you're seeing, like there are like cracks in the ice. I'm not sure what was causing those cracks. And you know, the first thing I thought was like, oh, well maybe like it's uh, something diving in and out or maybe popping in and out. But I'm like, I don't think there's fish in that. I, I think it's a pond. That's probably, I don't think it's a lake area. It's like a pond. And um, I don't think there's any fish that live there. So I'm kind of skeptical to say like, oh, it was just fish. But um, I just noticed them all over and it's just kind of interesting. 
Another thing I noticed was uh, the entire pond wasn't frozen over. And for anyone who's living in Western New York, y'all probably already know, to me, this hasn't been like a crazy winter. We did have a winter storm that was like, I think that was record. But in terms of it being like super duper cold and just terrible to be here, I feel like it hasn't been horrible like that. And um, even seeing like we had snow, this snowfall was like the it snowed three days ago and then it snowed again like last, yesterday and last night. And to see it not, you know, frozen over, it was kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not as cold as I thought. But my fingers would tell you different. They were like literally red. Like they're just coming back into themselves at this point. And so it was cool, man. All in all, I enjoyed it. Like I feel like I got some good footage. And um, I'm going to just let you guys see some footage, man. I'm not going to keep talking the whole way. I appreciate you guys, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't already... Man, and let me know what y'all think, man. Are, are these videos cool? Are you guys enjoying this content? Uh, should I do more? And should I go forward with doing like a winter park thing and really showing you um, the area from an aerial view and from like just uh, not cinematic, but you know, just uh, my perspective, how I see it and how I've grown to love this area that I live in. So, you know, let me know. Put it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, guys, and enjoy.